Now, it may not seem the most exciting topic when you look at all the erudite books on the VSI over there. Engineering may seem a bit mundane, but in fact, there are just three things that I would like to get across to you. The first one is that engineering is everywhere. It's in this camera, in this, it's even in the soapbox, although that may need a bit more explanation. It's in the buildings around us, it's in the roads and the bridges, and the engines that you used in your car, on the train and aeroplanes. Everything has engineering. And yet engineering has a real image problem, because, uh, in fact, later I'll quote a survey that was done in January this year that indicates how people tend to think about engineering. And the last point that I want you to remember is that um, the word engineer is not to do with engines. Most people think it's something to do with engines. But in fact, it comes from the Latin root, engineerius, which means ingenious. It's about ingenious problem solving. So those are the three things I want you to take away, that we undervalue engineering and that it is actually an ingenious problem solving discipline. And really, the book is about trying to get some of the confusions uh, clarified around the idea. So, in, I said engineering as well, just justify that. When you were, well, you were in bed this morning probably and you, your house was up there keeping you safe, that's engineering. Um, you perhaps switched on the radio, electricity, that's engineering. You turned on the tap, you got some water, that's engineering. You got in the car to come here perhaps, that's engineering. Everything, everything in our modern world is engineering. But even some of the bad things, of course, like weapons. And of course, it, what, what we have to understand is that engineering uh, is intimately part of what we are, what we are and what we do. So ethi the ethics of engineering has not really been attended to as it should be. Now, what is the book attempting to do to describe you um, what engineering is about? Well, I've got an elastic band in my pocket and I want to just demonstrate something. You probably think there's no energy in this soapbox, but there is. And most, when I said to my wife the a, a bridge was working, she couldn't understand what I meant. Because, if, is anybody here an engineer by any chance? Okay, well you know about energy in soapboxes. But and, and there's only, in all the whole of science and engineering, there is a, two forms of energy. One is potential energy and the other is kinetic energy. So you can demonstrate potential energy with the, with the uh, elastic band because it's about movement, it's about pos uh, position. So because of stretch that, there is now potential energy. There is some potential energy in this box with me standing on it, but you can't see it because it doesn't stretch as much. And it's also the opposite, it's compression rather than pulling, which is tension. But if I let it go, ouch, that is kinetic energy is released. And it's kinetic energy that is the explanation for heat, because the molecules in a gas are vibrating very fast. It's the explanation for electricity and information technology. All those technologies rely on kinetic energy. It's even in our understanding of quantum mechanics and the God particle, all about energy.